What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Group Red 2 here today with TGN. And today we have a kill streakless search and destroy nuke in Team Tactical. <laughs> and that's a mouthful right there. But, uh, guys, I think this is probably my favorite video I've ever made and ever played. So basically, for this, uh, we got, or I, I got three other teammates to go into Team Tactical and vote uh, for search and destroy, get a search and destroy game, and try to get 25 kills in a row without dying, without any help from kill streaks, and I wasn't camping. So I think this is a pretty awesome video and by far is my favorite so far. I just put it up on my uh, my main channel, or in my personal channel, and it's uh, it's got a lot of good feedback so far. So hopefully I'll get the same from you guys. And uh, we're kicking it off with uh, the explanation of how I did this, why I did this, and everything else. So um, guys, I'm known for doing some certain crazy videos, I, I, I per se. Um, I've gotten a kill streakless search and destroy nuke before. I've got a search nuke before, and this is back a year, a year and a half ago. Uh, I've got a few triple nukes, a few double nukes, and I, I just kind of do crazy little achievements for myself and just kind of to entertain you guys. And I hope you enjoy them, to be honest. They're for you, and I hope I don't receive too much hate because this is more of a challenge. I know I'm using the UMP; it's overpowered, fair enough, and I do apologize for that. But hopefully, we can be forgiving because of the awesome gameplay. Yeah. Um, so hell yeah, we're not gonna defuse the bomb because we have to lose three rounds in a row because there's only four people alive, and to kill four people 25 times in a row, uh, pretty well, you have to play every single round of seven. So seven times four, 28. I ended up t getting 27 kills because one guy joined late and I wasn't able to kill him, but I did kill every single person every single round they spawn, and it was pretty awesome uh, for my <laughs> for my opinion at least. Um, uh, what am I, what is my fun teammates doing? Okay, yeah, if you want to check out my teammates, I think I'll throw them down somewhere in the description. They, uh, they wanted to get a little shout out as well for helping out, because they did spend about four to five hours doing this with me, and that's a ridiculous amount of time, and I almost feel bad for them, and, like, for me not getting it for that long, I was, like, feeling really bad since, uh, they have to, like, wait, and they don't kill anyone, they're not getting any points, they're just doing this to help me as a, as a nice gesture, I guess. And, uh, you know, we eventually got it, which was which was awesome. The hardest part was letting them plant the bomb and us losing it, and then me killing them after they planted it. I think that was the worst part. Um, what I had, like, if you're trying to let them do it on attack, you have to plant, and then you have to let them defuse, and then you kill them, like, that split second you have after they defuse, and that's, that's really hard to do. So it's much easier to let them plant and then kill them, because you have at least 45 seconds there instead of, like, one which is <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Um, so guys, down at TGN, if you want to check out my channel after this video, if you liked it, hop over, why not? Um, yeah, I, I actually got a, got uh, most of my uh, <laughs> most of my subscribers to tweet xjaws, and hopefully he'll pop over. I got maybe about 15 tweets um, to him, so maybe he'll respond. That'll be pretty awesome. I've been trying to get this video out there right now, and if you guys on TGN want to help out, you know, you could either like it up on this channel or hop over to my channel and like it. If that 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 is if you do like it. If you don't like it, then well, you don't have to get watch it, I guess. But uh, also check out the YouTube show. I do have a few shows on my own channel as well. Uh, but TGN has some pretty awesome shows. I'm not gonna lie. They have uh, like 200 plus now, and basically, if you add them to a show, I, I don't know if everyone understands the shows because I never really understood them till I was partnered by TGN and I could make my own shows. So if you don't understand the shows, basically, it's like this own little uh, YouTube thing, and it pops in your subscriber box, uh, like totally different from TGN. So if you actually don't want to subscribe to TGN, like uh, they said, you can just subscribe to a certain show. So if you just want to see uh, Black Ops gameplays, then you subscribe to the Black Ops gameplays show or the the Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, or, you know, any other game. Like, I think, I don't know if they have a Guitar Hero. I think I'm going to make a Guitar Hero one for my channel, because it's pretty fun. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I wasn't sure exactly what to talk about in this commentary, because on my channel I was completely explaining wh how I did this. Um, so, yeah, I'll t I guess I'll tell a little bit uh, more about my teammates and what they did. They uh, basically were ride shielding, of course, like you can see, and they couldn't kill anyone. That's that's crucial. It's essential. I needed them not to kill anyone because there's not enough kills to go around if I was going to try to do this achievement. And I guess if I, I do have hardline on at the end, so I only need 24 kills. And since there's only 28 kills in total, I do have a leeway of about 4 kills that I don't get in total. Um, but I'm, I, I try to get every single kill every round just in case um, or save up a kill or something. And I can't believe I just got that snipe with the UMP there. That was kind of ridiculous. Um, 
So yeah, my teammates were just riot shielding. I didn't really need them to help me get kills. Like, they didn't have to, like, box the enemy in in a corner. And they didn't have to shout out, like, Brad, Brad, he's over here. Like, they basically just had to not kill anyone. Because I, I can pretty much hold my own on, like, Modern Warfare 2. And I didn't, like, right here, if you're watching this uh, when I'm in the corner, like, three guys started rushing me. And I was like, oh, god damn. And I actually did clutch it big time. Uh, I was so scared, though. Like, there was a few opportunities where I could have died and... I just got lucky, and I, I played it smart for sure. I let my teammates uh, push them away when I needed help, but uh, I do thank them for it. I couldn't have done it without them. But uh, yeah, when they did, when they do, when they do all die, um, in between some rounds, like I was scared. I was definitely scared. I didn't know what to do, but I, I clutched it, and that was kind of lucky. But uh, you know, it took a little bit of skill. So if you, if you know, you know, don't hate it for that. <laughs> um, Oh, what else are we going to talk about on this major TGN channel? Um, right now it's on FPS, if you're watching it right now. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it is on the TGN Central. Hopefully it'll be posted to both. Um, you know, I, I kind of have this little channel called Getting You Known. It's pretty much the same thing as TGN FPS. And I wish I, I, I wish I had enough time to make a video for every single channel. But I actually probably don't have that much time because the render upload speeds are just... Oof, they just take so much time out of your day. Uh, if you guys do commentate to do, do gameplays, you would know for sure. Uh, so this is just a pretty awesome clutch right now that's going on in the gameplay. I got like 50 seconds left. I had three people to kill, and I heard the guys. Basically, uh, my teammates are in a party chat with me because you can do that in Team Tactical Search and Destroy because I, I guess just the game type, you're allowed to do that. Uh, you can't do it in regular search, but uh, my teammates could still talk to me, and I, I didn't really need them to. So I was like, everyone, just be quiet. Shh, shh, shh. And everyone would just silent for the next minute and a half until I won the round. And that's because I do have a, a headset, and I did not know how helpful it is. Because I've been playing Black Ops for the last year or so. It is so helpful to have a headset in Modern Warfare 2. And I'm actually really excited for them to bring back the headset. Uh, well, not really bring back, but hopefully you're allowed to sound tour in Modern Warfare 3. That's just because I invest the money for a headset. I want clear, crisp sound. And if I can hear people stepping, then that's their fault for not having Ninja. Like, I use Ninja, and I have a headset. And I guess it's contradicting itself if I don't have Ninja on, but... You know, that's just my theory. And if you looked at the timer there, when I killed this guy, you can maybe rewind it for this, uh, the guy camping. Look at the timer. It honestly says .001 when I get that kill. It was, <laughs> I don't even know, like, I showed my friends and they were like, what? Did you, did you, did you just kill him with, like, a .0 second left? And I was like, yeah, that was me. Oh, uh, boy, it was pretty much the perfect game. And I did get lucky. There was a few opportunities, or a few instances where I could have died. And I, I guess just it, it came from luck, a little bit of skill, I guess a lot of luck, and just the right overall mood. And the the other gamers on the other team were pretty pretty legit players. They didn't quit out when I killed them, and they stayed in the match the entire time. And I think that was partly because I let them have a three and O lead, so they probably stayed because they thought they were gonna win win the rest of the game. Because usually when I'm three, like we win three games in a row, then they usually like think, hell, I'm not gonna win the rest of the game, so they back out. So we, we let them get the 3-0 lead, and then we win. And so it's like, whew, it is a lot of, um, a lot of like, different things you have to keep in mind to do this. And, man, this took us so long, honestly, like, four or five hours of me sitting here, six hours. Like, that was just in the one night. Like, it took us two nights to do this in the morning. I probably invested eight hours into getting this, solely playing this, solely getting three other people to ride shield. And I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for everyone who helped me out. And uh, I do do random challenges like this. So if you guys, like, want to see more of this or have a suggestion, please drop a comment. Um, like, one of them was get a killstreakless nuke using only stun grenades. And I was like, oh, my God. Okay, maybe I'll try it. Who knows? Um, that'd be pretty hard to do, to be honest, though. Maybe I'll do it in search because I think it'll be easier. Uh, because it's not a mayhem of crazy people. But, you know, if you're using killstreaks, it'd probably... I think it would, I don't know, would you guys want to see that, like, get uh, a nuke using only stun grenades? Uh, it kind of seems ridiculous, but I don't think it would be too bad. I have one-man army or scavenger on, and then get my teammates to throw, riot, like, uh, hit them with a riot shield once, and then I kill them with a stun. But anyways, this has been Group Red 2, guys. I hope you did enjoy this killstreakless <laughs> search and destroy nuke in Team Tactical. What a mouthful. Um, my name is Gro Group Red 2, and uh, check out the YouTube show. And uh, my channel, maybe my Twitter, who knows. Have a good one, guys. I love you all. Peace. I fucking love you.